Okay, two minutes to go here, just under two minutes. Welcome to Advent of Code 2020, day 18. So we are continuing our Advent of Code streaming today. Um, we'll see what happens. Uh, last couple of days have been really interesting, I guess. Uh, you know, we've had two Game of Life style uh, uh, puzzles already. So I think they're probably all tapped out on Game of Life, hopefully. Um, what's interesting is we haven't had any occasion to use uh, the the graph functions, the breadth first search. Um, I have that in here because this, uh, you know, breadth first search turns out to be something that they use really frequently in Advent of Code, and I haven't seen it yet. So that's kind of interesting. Um, and the, uh, the other thing we haven't seen yet is an ASM problem, which I keep saying, you know, one of these days we'll have an ASM problem, one of these days we'll have an ASM problem, but for some reason hasn't materialized yet. So I uh, would like to think that today will either be a graph problem or an ASM problem, but then again, you know, it might be neither of those things. I do know several people who will be very disappointed if it's another, um, if it's another game of life day. That's for sure. <laughs> uh, but yeah, all right, 20 seconds to go. Let's get set. Oh, I see. Huh. Oh, that's super fun. Okay, so uh, we have to parse this thing, but uh, we have to... <laughs> oh, that's super fun. Uh, all right, so let's, uh, let's just kind of add one of these things here. So, uh, def <sighs> this is good. This is really interesting because I assume there's a really fast way to parse this or solve this in certain languages, but I, this is unfortunately not a fast language to do this in. Um, okay, I see. Okay, um, uh, that's getting there. Um, okay, 
if let's try this as a so she could be 14. Yep, okay, looks fine. real get this answer so get that oh, 15th okay that's not crazy addition is evaluated before multiplication and multiplication replaced by that that's fine and then addition is replaced by division let's say and then uh, uh, div sure Good enough. There we go. Done. Thank you. Okay. And that's how we do it. Yeah. So this is a bit of a cheating solution, obviously. We basically created a custom num class that just overrides the operators to do things that they're not supposed to do. And that's how we bypass this problem. Because uh, actually parsing the string is way too painful. So yeah, uh, hacky, but works. I'm sure people will be able to solve this quicker by um, by doing some actual parsing, but uh, this is a cheaty way to do it and it works. All right, thanks for watching.